August 22, 2024 Memorial of the Queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light, those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them has light shone. You have multiplied the nation, you have increased its joy, they rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as they are glad when they divide the spoil. For the yoke of his burden, and the staff for his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For every boot of the tramping warrior in battle tumult and every garment rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace there will be no end, on the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Response, May the name of the Lord be blessed forevermore. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed. Both now and forevermore. May the name of the Lord be blessed forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting. Praised be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens his glory. May the name of the Lord be blessed forevermore. Who is like the Lord, our God? Who dwells on high? Who lowers himself? To look down upon heaven and earth? May the name of the Lord be blessed forevermore. From the dust he lifts up the lowly. From the ash heap he raises the poor. To set them in the company of princes. Yes, with the princes of his people. May the name of the Lord be blessed forevermore. Alleluia, Alleluia. Hail, Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. At that time, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, therefore the child to be born will be called Holy the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection. Monday, 15th week in Ordinary Time. Feast of the Queenship of Mary. This feast is a relatively recent one in the Church. For centuries Mary had been venerated as Queen of the Angels and the Saints. It is depicted, for example, in some very early mosaic works in the apse of the great basilicas. Jesus is portrayed as King of Heaven and Earth, and, alongside him, Mary is portrayed as Queen. In 1955, at the end of the Marian year, Pope Pius XII gave formal expression to this popular belief of the faithful, by promulgating this feast of the Queenship of Mary. He placed it on this date, August 22, to stress the connection with the Feast of the Assumption. Like that feast, this Feast of the Queenship of Mary proclaims the very special union between herself and her Son in Heaven. The Church understands this special relationship between Jesus and Mary in Heaven as the continuation and deepening of their special relationship on Earth. 
In the Gospel reading, Mary consents to be the mother of Jesus, God's Son. She carried Jesus in her womb for nine months, and, having given birth to him, she nursed him as only a mother could. No other human being had such a deeply personal relationship with Jesus from the first moment of his existence. Before she conceived Jesus in her womb, she conceived him in her heart, through her faith, by surrendering herself to God's purpose and desire for her life, I am the handmaid of the Lord, let what you have said be done to me. When Mary visited her cousin Elizabeth, according to Luke's Gospel, Elizabeth declared Mary blessed because of the child she was carrying in her womb, but then went on to declare Mary blessed because of her faith, blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was said to her by the Lord. Mary inspires us to keep growing in our faith, to keep giving ourselves over to God's purpose, God's desire, for our lives, so that Christ can live in us, as he lived in Mary, and so that we become people who bring the Lord to others as she brought the Lord to us. Christ who lives in us in this earthly life will then draw us into a deeper relationship with himself in the life beyond this earthly life.